previously on Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Pauses, it's the pauses. The pauses always get me, so shall we go, she says. So before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Kryoko in the lead, and where she took us was... The locker room. Wow. The girls' Ooh, locker yawning. room? We've already searched this place top to bottom! What are you trying to pull, I'd like to search Chihiro top to bottom. <laughs> I'd like you to Shut the fuck the up, Makoto. I'm time. sorry. You want to check it again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. Examine her carefully? Please stop, dude. Like, using our hands? Dude. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! Please, stop. It's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just... Based on religious grounds, you know? Yeah, I got Very that. Very well. I'll do it. But, but you're a girl! Or you... Kyoko you could just, um... Body? Just let one of the boys do it. Or, or Kyoko could just tell us what she found. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. So just leave this to me. S Sakura. What Can you is examine this? me? Kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? That's Stop. not it at all. Stop screwing around. Okay, here I go. I mean, Kyoko sorry, could Chihiro. still just tell Please us. Excuse the intrusion. Putting her hands together in a brief prayer, Sakura then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her and You could body, just tell us. And I believe we will solve this particular You're mystery. such an asshole. Her entire body? I know you say that, but what? This is What is this? <laughs> Super Saiyan what Goku. Is it? Not possible. It's not possible. It's Kim possible. Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This this girl is is what? Is a oh, boy. Oh shit. Ah, I see. So she it's a penis. Is actually, a he. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. Confirming. Whoa! You're joking, right? I wouldn't joke about this. Look. Then, then it's really true? I mean, Chihiro I guess. Was a guy? Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat. Oh, Chihiro that's great. I hate was you. Totally a guy. <laughs> he was a cross Please stop. So that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. <laughs> what, Chihiro's dick? Yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. Cool. Ahem. <clears throat> I do apologize for keeping you waiting. Now then, let's resume the class trial. We've all just learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Let's pick up from there. Damn, that's wild. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. Yeah, I know, we know. We, you literally had Sakura touch his dick. To think that Chihiro was actually a guy. The thought had never even crossed my mind. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, yep, there should okay. be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girls' locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. So 
Chihiro really was killed in the boys' locker room? I, I mean, still I guess. don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does I guess seem to plausible. Protect their secret. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is the most titillating weird, situation. So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever, we still think you're the killer, remember? Oh, I mean, maybe not so much anymore. <laughs> very interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Why? Ah, he's off in his own little world. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya's the killer? Well, uh, without a I mean, doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But... But I... I think he might not actually be the killer after all. I think it was me! But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? Yeah, I take it back! It just seems to be too... You didn't say no take back, this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Sure. Plus, the evidence he left behind was a he consciously oh my chose gosh. to use the extension cord. Trigger happy. Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too, how can I put it, overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord knowing it would connect him to the murderer. At least, that's how I see it. And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy. If you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but... It's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct, for the time being. What the fuck? Mark it as... correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. I well, just happened now that you to say that, the corpse in the girl's uh, locker room I believe it's you now. And decided to alter it. That Are you fucking fucked up, with dude. us right now? Why would you do that? What no, a waste of I my am fucking not time. Effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. What a pussy. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. I'm you're very hard too. To oh wait, that's not what we're talking about. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly Shits matter and right giggles. now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? Well, me. I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. Oh my god. Seriously gonna keep going? <laughs> you and me both. Me. I thought it was clear Byakuya did it. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Alright, let's do this inv individually. If I say your name and you didn't kill Chihiro, raise your hand. If you did kill Chihiro, don't raise your hand. That's true. Very well then. I'm with you too. Damn straight. Count me in. Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? Anyway. What? Let's discuss this all as a group one more time. Oh my we still gosh. have time to make our decision. Oh, sorry, time's up Very again. true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? What? Hide and seek? But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's one thing that we can be sure that we know about the killer. The killer was able to gain access to the real murder scene, which means the killer is a guy. A gun! It's me! Wait, <laughs> since the crime scene was the boys' locker room, you would need a boy's handbook to get in. Since Leon's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have had to use their own. In other words, it had to have been a guy. But that's still not enough. I need to find some more clues. Uh, shit. Okay. Um. 
Celeste's account. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? It was me! Well, Wait. Clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? Uh, I'm that's sure why if we're... The if, killer, they yeah, yeah exactly. What now. the fuck, dude? Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might ah, be enough for there now. There we go. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Oh, shit. Come on, Lakota. Don't scare me like that. Makes me think something weird is going on. Shoot! I need to think about it one more time. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. Oh, shit. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to... Well, did nobody... I'm sure if someone saw... Perhaps someone saw the victim. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of... It's over. It's all over. It's you not over. You know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. No. Celeste did. No, that's wrong. In the storage room with the candlestick. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes. I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, no. But I lied. I suppose only Makoto knows about this. Makoto! The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before night time. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. Mm -hmm. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. But then they actually died. <laughs> but we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. Seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Rather odd. Well, I better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone I actually die. <laughs> I should think. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? Yeah, and then they extra died. <laughs> and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, yeah. he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. They couldn't get into the locker room if Enough, they had a so that uh, handbook that's what they were a guy. Being revealed. <laughs> oh, what a marvelous friendship! The point is, yeah, whoever he friends. met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But yes. knowing what we know, I can't even guess. No. It was you me. You have what you need to make the connection. Oh, we do? Huh? You know who the killer is. No, no, we don't. S seriously? Who, who is it? Who's the killer? Think it's back Dakota. To the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious track who was bag waiting for bag. it. Are you sure about that? You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? What? You want to track down some fingerprints or something? Yes. Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say, but fine. There's a hair on my screen. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was... Just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. Okay. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Chihiro's jacket? Perhaps. Sure. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. <sighs> okay, okay. 
Does the hero's track jacket really hold some clue about the killer? Somehow, it's really hard to believe. Make your argument. Holy shit. Uh, Celeste account? Can we already do this one? First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. Okay. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? Because they like the, the, the color blue. Tracksuit. I don't know. I got it! He picks that tracksuit because... It was blue. It the one the culprit was wearing. Oh. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? Yes. My tracksuit is black. No, you're wrong. Like, fuck, I don't even know why I did that. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of an idiot. I don't even know why I clicked First it that time. All, we know which he was on his way. So next, but why did he choose? What do you mean? Uh -huh, I got uh -huh, it. Blah, blah, blah. It matched the one that. So the killer was wearing the. My tracksuit is black. I My tracksuit is blue. I have a tracksuit. Yeah. Well. This exercising sucks. <laughs> Fine. I have a white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. No one asked. Did any of that okay. really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? Um. No way. Not a chance. Yeah. Okay. So I'm confused. You heard him, right? What? What she said. Uh, she's right. What he just said just now is really odd. Um. Okay. How did he know something like that? Oh. Oh. We never First mentioned all, that it was blue. We was oh shit. Was so next, why did he choose? <gasps> oh, okay. The one. So, the killer was wearing the same my track suit shit. as black. Oh, the killer was wearing the same blue track suit as him. There we go. No, that's wrong. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... Oh my gosh, this was only a few minutes ago. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag, and then I assumed he headed off to exercise. Why did she we need to said anything about the jacket's run color. that back? So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you... you just... Uh-oh, hey, cotton on... What color cotton was 4K. Chihiro's tracksuit? Black. As a matter of fact, it was blue. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. <gasps> then, uh oh, spaghetti Mondo, How did you know what color Chihiro's tracksuit was? Well, because I, I just. Because I know Chihiro likes blue. I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died. Cherry. That's the only possibility. Okay, what? Cherry. Are, What's up with the nicknames? Are you talking about your hero? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony... She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Yeah. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Uh-oh. Perhaps. Get it? Because he's going to die. You handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. Toko's tongue? You said you knew who did it, to put them on edge. That's right. 
However, Mondo was my target all along. I had why didn't you say it? about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. He sucks. The way he was acting. There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. Oh. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after Chick Hicks killed, from Cars, I love that refer movie. To him as dude. Cars 3 is the first movie Once I did. I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Did you notice such a tiny detail? Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! Please no, stop talking, Toko. I'm not the frightful Jack. one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. That's why I murdered Chihiro, because they weren't my friend. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I... 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 Uh... I didn't aye, kill aye, anyone! Aye, 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 aye. You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? I mean, you're a you gang leader after like all. That. This is a false accusation! It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> My time has nearly come. What? That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Uh, oh, what yeah. The fuck? That reminds me. Kifumi, weren't you telling me you'd found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Jeez, uh -oh. does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. If you really insist that... Um... Oh, fuck. I did it again. Uh, here it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. I scooped it up and then I pooped it up. You found it on the ground, right? Then it must belong to... It's mine! <laughs> she heroes? I got it! We know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? For a sure, fact. I kind of forgot, but okay. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping, but... I imagine the oh, culprit... nothing? But it's busted. It wouldn't even turn on it. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. There's the weak You're spot. Right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful but lot to But are they hammerproof? And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkable Oh shit, Leon isn't broken. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? Leon isn't broken. Precisely. Did the handbooks get broken? How did the handbook break? There's only one possible explanation. By hitting its weak point. I got it. You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah. You remember that? Uh, sure. Uh, sure, maybe I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession... Or one's broken. Then... then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? You're asking me? I think yes, it's a necessary that's piece of why information she said your name. you want this to be a fair trial. But if I why do you think he would want it to be and fair? someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Shut up and Just tell, us. tell us. already! Thank you, Ali. Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? Then allow me to make a special, special announcement. announcement. 
The weak point of my cutting edge e handbook is a hammer. When it's exposed to high temperatures for too oh. long, it will I kind of forgot about that. Down and totally break. I flipping knew it. Oh, cuz Mondo was in the um You knew it? Yeah. Mondo's handbook, handbook, handbook isn't Mondo's because Mondo went into the sauna with it. The temperature in oh, the ho, sauna ho. Can reach I am big brain. I accidentally skipped that. Hold on. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. It's strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because your sweat evaporates. It's because it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you definitely get fried. I love fried chicken. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So okay. when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Wow, interesting. I learned one My new room kind of feels like a sauna right now. Yeah, so did I. Thanks, that Taka. Is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Okay. Anyway, if you found the victim. <laughs> anyway, in the we're sauna, just gonna ignore him. Then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Because of the Monica competition. Said didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? What do you like mean? Like how I was by an accident? accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They yeah. realized it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but. Who would have done something like that? I don't Me. know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. Whoa. Taka Seriously? and Mondo. Or maybe I just think Mondo. The one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was. <laughs> who might have brought their handbook into the sauna? It had to be one. The one who wore all their clothes into the sauna. It was. Mondo. Me! Leon. Oh, there we go. Here's my answer! Here's my answer! Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Because he did Mondo it. Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Yeah. No, wait, Big brain. Hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill... I don't accept this! Show me the proof! The actual solid proof! We we just gave it to you. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but but I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh I actually don't know. Broken handbook to Hero's handbook card reader. The card reader? Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. Yeah, okay. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, I messed See? up. Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Uh-oh. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo... You broke your own hand. In other words, it then that proves... Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! No, it doesn't, no, idiot. There we go. Third time's the charm. Mondo, or was it four? I lost count, I don't right know. Now. 
Is it really yours? The fuck is that supposed to mean? I mean, it's the probably to hear us. That was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? What the heck uh -oh. are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced uh. it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So okay. then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's. Yes. Which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's, yes? Yes. But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says no. that your handbook is prohibited? Because he didn't loan it. We already, we've been over this. Well, he stole it. here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student. But if they're dead, they're not a student. It's kind of a okay. great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not the violation of the rules. Well, cool. Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Turn on your handbook, Sama, bitch. bitch. What's wrong, bro? C come on, tell him he's wrong. You are wrong. You have to be wrong. Everything not you wrong. just said is wrong. You made it all up. Okay. No, I didn't. Then why don't we look back on this case oh, one no. more time, from the beginning? That way, everything will become clear. All right, clear. people, let's and do we'll this all one see more if time. Was right or wrong. Okay. So tired. Closing climax. I'm about to climax. All right, let's see. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, found it. Duffel bag here. Okay. Goes to the locker room. Uh, I don't know. Open door. Crash, blood. Okay, I'm confused as to how this works. Um, okay, so we did that. Holy shit, this thing's long. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO, I'm kind of a dumbass. Is it not this? Is it that? Locker room, I guess. Okay, killed her. Dumbbell. Okay, maybe not dumbbell. Maybe it is dumbbell, I don't know. Picked her up. Uh, rolled up the carpet. Switch the posters. Is it the poster? Does this poster go here? It's like, uh oh, there's a bloody poster. So he takes off the poster. And then he puts the poster back on. And then he goes to the girls' room? The girls' locker room? Biakis is like, ha ha ha, blah blah blah. Um. This, I guess. I don't know. The killer is you. Killer First, is me. Let's take a look back to before the incident. Let's let's step back in time. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse. Correct. At the time, mm -hmm. she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. Oh, hello. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Bye. That something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? See, that's again, I guess. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. This is a weird ass song. I, it's probably because it's in she a different made her language, way to I guess, the but. Room, specifically, the boys' locker weird. room. weird. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Because they were a guy simple because she was really a he 
which is why he was able to use his own e-handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Okay. Once inside, he met with someone there. I'm gonna sneeze. And the person he met was the one who killed him. Okay, maybe I won't sneeze. I lied! It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro, Ta -do. and attacked him. Uh oh. And that's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. Okay. He's like, oh no, what did I do? It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. Oh, I fucked it. Oopsies. Uh, no, I didn't lay out my reasoning right. I need to rearrange the events of the case. Oh, shoot. Oh, is this supposed to go here? And then... And then this goes here. There the we go. Is you. There we go. Maybe. Which is why the killer hurried Hurry. to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. And finally, carrying the corpse into the girl's locker room. A girl's handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. Could have used Junko's or Sayaka's. After all, Sayaka yeah. and Junko's handbooks had been placed in the main hall. Using one of those, a boy could get into the girl's locker room without much problem. There we go. And that's exactly how the killer did it. With the carpet and the poster they brought with them, they got to work. They changed the layout of the boys' and girls' locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. That's such a dumb title to give it, but okay. That could have been the end of things, but no. Gyakya had to be a little Yakuya bitch. Discovered the body a little fucking and asshole. To intervene in the situation. Oops. Sorry. So, uh, after shit. After stumbling on the I crime scene, I guess I can't go back to that. He went and grabbed the extension cord from the library, and then he got to work. Because he's an asshole. He's wasting our time. He used the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Why did Byakuya go into the girl's locker room? <laughs> then, using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. The man behind the slaughter! And around the same time that Byakuya was putting together this facade, the killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings, arrived at the sauna. Yes. There, they planned to destroy the last piece of evidence. Chihiro's handbook. Yep. Okay, all fine and good so far. And just as the killer expected, the steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. Cool. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. And the reason they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. And nice. that's how it all played out. We did it. Isn't That's that terrifying. Right, Scary boy. Wait. No. This can't be right. Uh, it is though. Where's your evidence? Yeah. Where's your evidence? Well, we gave a shit ton of evidence. You need evidence. You need proof. Yeah, we already gave it. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this Dude, on him. We gave it to you. Evidence that Mondo is the killer that already revealed itself earlier in the trial. If I can somehow show where Mondo's, Mondo's handbook is right now, once I do that, everything will become clear. 
Oh, great. Another thing. Let's talk a little bit more about Fever Time and Nega Time. During a Bullet Time battle, if you press the Space Key, Fever Time will activate and the Temple will be forced to its max. At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. So you can push RMB, LMB, RMB, LMB, however you want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. But this only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Of course, it wouldn't be fair if only you got access to special time, right? So we've also prepared something called Nega Time that your opponent can use. If the opponent activates Nega Time during the Bella Time battle, your tempo marker would disappear, making it quite a bit tougher to hit the buttons in rhythm. If you were to activate Fever Time at this point, no, never mind, I'm sure nothing would happen. I don't know what I was worried about. Unsurprisingly, if your action difficulty is set to Gentle Loop. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. Great, we have to do this now. The moment of truth. Show me game. some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. False. Refuse to vote. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. False. Did I do it? Show me some evidence. There we go. Sorry, I went quiet. I was trying to focus. Um, cause I'm really bad at rhythm games, so I need to focus in order to do it properly. If my thinking so far is right, Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. I thought we already case, knew this. we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll... We don't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I killed him. Oof. Oh, oh shit, B. <laughs> Oopsies. Overall, I guess an A, perfect. Nice. Bro? Bro, what are you saying? Uh-oh. I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just give yeah. up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that! Wait! Hold on! No waiting! No holding on! Yeah, please, Time this is long enough. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for! Grab your lever and give it a yank! Did you have to say it like that? Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's Both. it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Well, I mean, there's only one person we can't vote, right? Byakya. <laughs> yeah. Surprise, it was Mondo. Cool. <laughs> I mean, I liked Mondo. I liked him more than Leon, but I guess we didn't really get to know Leon that well because what? Uh, he died. Uh-oh, this time it looks like you got it right again. Yes, it is so. The black end that killed your hero Fujisaki was... Mondo Uwara! In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chose the wrong answer. You're turning very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I refuse to believe it. There's no way, no way he would kill someone. Sorry. What, what why are this? you apologizing? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why did you do it? Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taking a vow of silence, so allow me to explain for his behalf. Actually... The story of the murder this time is the sad story of two men. <gasps> two and a half men. Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the control T to fast forward the text. I mean, I guess we'll hear it. Anyway, there was once a boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. 
He'd heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he wouldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness, to take on that fragile form of a petite young girl. They had chosen that th as their way out. Um. Now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter but no matter how tightly they wrapped themselves up in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken de root deep inside of them and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. I'm weak. Weak, 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 weak. Again, do they have to weak. count this? Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he, they had no choice but to accept their, this fact. After all, this fort is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets, which is, of course, included your hero's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though they dress up like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around them would torture them more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent them spiraling into despair. What? And yet... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really f want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. Oh, poor Chihiro. I love Chihiro, man. They were great. After I must... After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. Annoyingly, they used the threat of discovery to motivate themselves to become stronger. That's right. Now's my chance. I want to change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay, I'll get better. With that thought at the, with that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action, and so... That day, they made the commitment to begin exercising. They were prepared to retrain their mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance they would get at, at it. Get the tit. Hey, um... When they decided to start exercising, they thought it would be good to ask someone's help. But they wanted to tell that person his secret, their secret first, and then the, and ask them to help them from there. And the person they went to... Yeah, that's right. It was me. <laughs> yep, it sure was. The biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important their, his manly promises were. So Chiro probably figured that even if they confided in Mondo, their honor would... His honor would make him keep the secret. Uh -huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Man Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help give me some courage. So we went in a... No. Is Chihiro supposed to say that? Or is that supposed to be Monokuma? I'm going to say Monokuma. So they went and asked Mondo to help them become strong. That was their aspiration. And they thought that only with Mondo's support would they ever be able to come close to that. Correct. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did. To keep the promise he made to Chihiro. Huh? Did what he did? You mean, that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um... Was he dead to cover up what he done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... But how does moving the body keep their secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect their identity, so... He tried to protect Hero's secret by putting them in the girls' locker room and stealing their handbook, see? Then, Mondo did all that to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. So, he'd also kill- who he had also killed? <laughs> Why? Why would he do that? <laughs> the more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys thrust- trusted each other, right? Thrusted each other. <laughs> so, why did you- <laughs> 
because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it, after all. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What? What is this? Th that's impossible. Nothing could have been. Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. Wrong. It's impossible. Don't make me repeat myself. How many times must I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of Foley. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can, and that's there. Are, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? The embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. Hey, um... You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother! <laughs> Gah! <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. <laughs> Mondo's older brother's name was Dyer Owada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo even got a, ever got a motorcycle. Vroomva. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his brother, so he Im Im imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. <laughs> that kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that'll do is make the gang look bad. <laughs> Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and gossip, gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang, which is why. I, I just. I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. He must die. <laughs> Once. Just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't fuck with me. I don't care what it takes. I gotta come out on top. And on the night... And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... Okay, so he didn't really kill him. It was like, as a result of his actions. So it wasn't like he s murdered his brother. Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault, but Dai never blamed him for what happened. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Cause it's a team. You and me put together. It's a pro a promise between men. Damn, Daya has way <laughs> better hair than Mondo. He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother, he could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result, the team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who'd bested his big brother. Daya was going to lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead them so bad, he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I'm I strong. Just... Strong, 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 strong. I probably said too many, but whatever. And yet... As soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. At that point, it was clear it would have no problem shedding light on his secret. 
Mondo killed his own older brother. On yeah. accident. No. No matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death and all the guilt I've been carrying around, it all would have been for nothing. So that's why... I... That's why I... Mondo! Yeah. After I saw that Monokuma hat on me, my head filled with a kind of fuzzy uneasiness. And then that just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like it before. I... I just... I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while, that fud is the uneasiness. <laughs> turns out itself into a rock lard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with them. And right there, I... They told me a secret. <laughs> Seriously? Gee. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry I lied to you. <laughs> but why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Cause I mean, you've kept the secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would- But- You're- you're right, but- I want to change. I wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. Their words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like they were exposing the lie I'd given to myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong, it can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of- So what? You're saying I should just say it? What? You're saying what? if I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. They had the strength to this, face their own weakness, to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I'd never had. So I was jealous of them. And that jealousy broke me. What? Are you making fun what? of me? I'm strong. Are you fucking with me right now? No! I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. <laughs> What did they want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just sit back and let my secret get revealed and ruin everything? What's wrong? Why Damn did you, you have to tell me that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I, I just no, wanted to... No, I just really admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am strong. Strong. I'm strong. Yeah. Strong, 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 strong. It's stronger than you. You son of a bitch. It's stronger than Daya. You're gonna die. <laughs> I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, they were laying at my feet, covered in blood. I had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just starting to staring at him down on the ground. <laughs> hey, hey! I. Killed. I killed Chihiro. I killed though. I killed Chihiro. Even after all this oh. time, I'm still just as weak as I've always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Mondo. He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold-blooded. Gosh damn it! <laughs> Great. Look at him! You see? You're all just like him. For a secret from the past. For a memory. <laughs> for that he killed another living human in cold blood. Hmm. He's gonna cut, the f cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Cause I sure don't. <laughs> you bastard! Just shut up, you son of a bitch! Go ahead, say that again, I dare you! I'm lagging. Yep. Yes. Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want. It's what I want to say, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that right now because the time for punishing is fast approaching. 
P punishing. Yeah, did you forget this was what this was? You mean execution! Well now, well now, well That's now, what I promised well you, now. right? The blacken that disturbs the peace will be punished. Ridiculous! Huh, hold on! Now then, I prepared a very special punishment! For Manu Awada, the ultimate biker gang leader! No, no, w wait! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! I said wait! Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made. From one man to another. Oh, here we go. Mondo has been found guilty. Game over. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, he's got a motorcycle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seeing, um... Monokuma with Mondo's haircut is hilarious. The Cage of Death. Vroom vroom. I don't... I mean, the animation doesn't really work because it's he's still like a 2D cutout. Oh, there he goes. Zoom, 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 zoom. Damn, you got them crazy eyes, though. Uh oh. Oof, even Monokuma is tired out. This reminds me of the um the thing in the Simpsons movie where Homer had to spin around in the fucking bike thing. He didn't die though. He should have, cause he fucked up a couple of Mondo butter. How does that even work? Oh great. He ate Mondo. Can I have some? I wonder what Mondo would taste like. I need to stop. <laughs> Laugh at death. Your soul will forever be at peace. It can't be. My brother. Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put an end to that. No, no. As Taka's sad screams invaded other skulls, our skulls, we were each forced to realize once again, he, of course, he had to. <laughs> what a disappointment. This is the end of the game? But Byakuya, you fucking asshole. What is this? You're completely insane, do you know that? A game? One of your friends is dead. Do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do, because this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response except However. that. However... I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? Because I'm an asshole. Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless. Like the voice of death, it chilled me to the bone. <laughs> Last night, when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So, you ignored the nighttime rule too? <laughs> That rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. <laughs> the night grew late, and I decided to turn to my room, which is why, I, which is when I stumbled upon him. I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What? 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 You mean you actually witnessed the murder? <laughs> he was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. I could have saved an hour and a half if you just told us that it was Mondo. Well. So you're saying you knew the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed, but if that had been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I could have saved an hour and a half of my life, dude. I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. What a waste of time to have not answered at the beginning. <laughs> 
which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would liven things up. I fucking hate you. You did all that to liven things up? I see. So after hearing what Genocide Jack about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that to create the fake murder scene? But... But damn, if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously, I would have revealed the truth before I reached that point. <laughs> of course. Byakuya turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. <laughs> Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did. And I was able to perform an interesting experiment. <laughs> interesting. Once I do... Once I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I'll have to watch out for. Or Correct. just kill. So that was your reason. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I like to ask Wanakuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next! You... You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? <laughs> do you like them? But, you know, the punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. It's all punishment, all this despair is my gift to the mankind itself. What? You're over-exaggerating. I'm not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. Damn. What do you mean? Huh? Mean? Mean? Yeah. Mean? What the heck? Holy shit, I f this is why this game is so long. It's because they do yeah. shit like this. Good grief! I don't understand why you have to pick up a every part of- Pick apart every little stupid thing! <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as a victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ooh, ah, the noble son exciting. of a noble family! Truly, you understand me. I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. That's enough. Shut up. I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I achieved complete victory, you're up next. <laughs> I'm going to find you and kill you, you understand? In the name of my family. In the name of the Togami family, for which victory is, forgone, is a foregone conclusion. You're getting all right. Oh, up. so cool. It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No, that's me. No trash mob for you. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> temper, temper. Sounds like someone needs a nap. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> After all this bullshit. This, I love Danganronpa, but it's... It's so long. Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom and the curtain closed on the case of Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, her worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell and more, f and more of, in f of a future than us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Well, anyway, like I Ooh, was saying, secrets. this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you what? were supposed to make the first move, right? Well, no oh. biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. Honestly, so I know who killed everyone, more but I forget on, parts okay? like this. After all, that's what everyone wants to see. Like, I don't know who he's talking to. One thing I'd like to ask you. This as is my voice now, because I don't know, know who it is. Measurements, fire away. Fuck you, dude. I hate that he says something like that. Who is it? The 16th high school student, I mean. Ooh, my, my. You really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic and denied. And this is why this game is 25 years long. That's my ace in the hole. And nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> uh oh. Chapter 2 Boy's Life of Despair. The end. Surviving students? 10.
I don't get why it says to be continued. It's not like got it the crazy diamond present. It's not like um it's not like I have to wait until next week for the next episode. Next time on Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. <laughs> sniff sniff. Oh oh wait, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs>